Hello, my name is Scott Honinghausen, and right now I am with Anthony Marr and Shannon Wright, uh, two um, advocates and activists for all animals, and I think that is great. Uh, more power to them, and I hope they keep on going and going and going. Animals need the help. We are right now in Yellowstone National Park, Lamar Valley, which is the northeast part of the park, and we came out to view uh, buffalo, uh, bison to be exact, but they're interchangeable, bison, the name bison and the name buffalo. And uh, I made the comment earlier that these bison out here are the fortunate ones uh, in that while in their lifetime they may have been harassed, may have been hazed by uh, government agents, while uh, these bison here potentially uh, attempted to migrate north out of the park, um, sometime late winter, or west out of the park about the same time um, to find easier forage as well as to calve. Um, right now, there are a group of 59 bison that aren't so fortunate, aren't so lucky. They were ones that were not only harassed and hazed, but they were also trapped inside Yellowstone National Park under a management plan that is not at all a, a, a good, viable management plan. It, it caters strictly to uh, Montana's cattle industry. And it is kind of signed off on by not only the DOL, which is the arm, uh, Department of Livestock, Montana Department of Livestock, um, but they also have brought in Yellowstone's National Park Service, as well as another federal agency called APHIS, Animal Plant Health Inspection Service, as well as two state agencies of Montana, Fish, Wildlife, and parks, uh, well, and the aforementioned DOL, and as well as the Forest Service. That five groups make up the interagency bison management plan, and that plan basically just caters to Montana's uh, cattle industry, and uh, it's not a good plan for the buffalo. Any buffalo that do migrate north through Gardner out of the park and west um, to the west entrance area out to uh, uh, West Yellowstone area are subjected to hazing and that is being chased by government agents on horseback, on um, ATVs, and at one point in time during this management plan uh, the uh, government actually brought in helicopters. Um, and that is how the 59 at Stevens Creek, which is at the north end of Yellowstone, uh, within the boundaries, that is how the 59 buffalo that are right now on that fence are trapped. That's how they got them. They are not too sure specifically on this 59, but they're either eventually going to be sent to slaughter, they potentially could end up being poked around and experimented with, and then uh, potentially relocated to another part of Montana, or as there are other groups behind two or three other sets of fences, two or three other traps in the north of Yellowstone, uh, they could potentially live out their life behind fences. It's absolutely terrible, and um, I've seen it happen. I've been here long enough to see all this happen. Um, and I'm hoping by doing this, it gets the word out to, to more people in our country, to the public, that Yellowstone National Park uh, is 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 not good to what is now our national map that is the, the bison um, and it's all again I've said it a few times uh, just to benefit the Montana's cattle industry which generally cattle industries are not good for wildlife or the environment I think everybody uh, would agree with that um, and they do not want these bison out of the park because really it comes down to just the cattle industry does not want these bison to compete with their cattle for grass on public lands. That is the reason why. They, the cattle industry and this whole uh, management plan do say 
they need to contain something a disease called a disease called brucellosis total myth total fabrication it never happened has happened in the wild it will never happen in the wild brucellosis is a uh, disease that would um, make a cow abort its first fetus and they can get that from buffalo that disease from a buffalo who has aborted one of its fetuses a cow has to somehow come in contact with the buffalo's aborted fetus it's not going to happen it's just uh, uh, a made-up reason to keep buffalo out of montana and their historical migration route only because cattle industry does not want their grasses to be um, eaten by buffalo they want them uh, all their lands for cows um, and that is why they're not tolerated pretty much not tolerated in their lands and subjected to hazing to the trapping to being sent to slaughter and uh, I've seen it happen I've seen treasures full of buffalo being taken away saddest sight one of the saddest sights I've seen I've seen a buffalo calf who was hazed its first three days of its life ended up during that three days with a broken leg it's on film and a third day of that calf's life trying to keep up with the herd that's being hazed by agents government agents on horseback on ATVs with a broken leg it ended up dying the third day unbelievably sad don't even like thinking about it um, buffalo do not belong in traps behind fences they belong right now where you see them in Yellowstone National Park free roaming this group here is continuously wild and genetically pure and that is the uniqueness of this herd in Yellowstone these have always been continuously wild and genetically pure and um, we just need to do we anybody who has a passion who loves animals needs to step up uh, talk to the Park Service Talk to the state of Montana. Tell them leave the buffalo alone. Let them roam. Um, I, after seeing all this, decided I had to do something, and I seeked out a group uh, called the Buffalo Fuel Campaign. They are the premier group. They are the, the group that gets it the most. Their mission is to do what's best for the buffalo, and that is their mission is to stop the slaughter of these buffalo and it's to attempt to create habitat more habitat outside Yellowstone National Park so these buffalo can roam and roam freely freely excuse me and not be subjected to the hazing to the uh, uh, to the trapping to the slaughter to the nonsense that is this interagency bison management plan um, so I would encourage Anybody who is interested in learning more about the buffalo, because this is where I, I, I have learned all everything I know about it, and I'm not saying I know everything, but the Buffalo Field Campaign, I would encourage everybody to go uh, learn more about the Buffalo Field Campaign. The website is buffalofieldcampaign.org, and uh, they are the group that definitely, without a doubt, I've seen it, I've lived it, um, help out and advocate for the buffalo above and beyond uh, other groups who do wonderful work, other groups, Buffalo Field Campaign gets it.